two million nine hundred and sixty four thousand viewers. That is how many viewers watched the November twenty third, two thousand fifteen edition of WWE Monday Night Raw. This is down from last week's viewership number of three million two hundred and ninety three thousand viewers. So, basically, we're about, you know, around 400, th around 300,000 viewers. Um, and this was a Raw that took place the day after a pay-per-view, Survivor Series. A Raw that took place with a new champion. Now, of course, that champion is Sheamus, who will end up being one of the top five worst WWE champions of all time. Uh, maybe even the worst, depending on how he's booked. Um, now, this rating is definitely one of the worst ratings of all time. I'm not sure if it's worse than not holiday than a holiday rating, possibly, but it's definitely one of the worst ratings. Uh, this date, this is definitely the worst rating of the year, no doubt about that. And it's the worst rating in. 15, nearly 20 years, dating back to 1997. Now, there probably were non hall you know, there probably were holiday ratings, Christmas, whatever. There probably may have been worse, but you expect those to do bad. You could say, well, it was three days before Thanksgiving. Well, it was against Monday Night Football, which did over 14 million viewers, which had the undefeated Patriots take on the Bills. But it was... The day after a pay-per-view, and you had a new champion. Now, of course, there was going to be a new champion no matter what, obviously. It was going to be either Reigns or Ambrose or whoever won the tournament. But it just shows to show you that uh, besides the fact that football is, by, is eating up the ratings, there isn't a lot of interest right now in, in WWE because of creative decisions and injuries you know it's not completely WWE's fault all of these things going on it's not completely WWE's fault but if you take a look at the november 19th edition okay nearly a year ago of raw 4.23 million viewers now that's a good rating that's a damn good rating, especially going up against Monday Night Football. Now, I don't know what Monday Night Football, get what Monday Night Football game was airing last year up against that that Raw, but 4.23 million viewers is unbelievable. Now, the average rating of Raw earlier for earlier this year was in the range of I would say before the football season, it was going down. It was getting between 3.5 3 to 3.7 million viewers. Before that, it was around 3.8, 3.9 million viewers. Sometimes even 4 million viewers. Then just when football season, it was just like they turned on a switch. And bam. You know, people just stopped watching because of football. Live. Now, let's remember, these are live ratings in the United States. Some people may be watching a DVR. It's possible. Some people may be only watching a, a few minutes of Raw each week because they're not they're not they're not adding in the people who watch a few minutes of Raw here and there. These are people who watch the majority of Raw, most of it, all the way through each week. Um, so let's just take, let's focus on the reason why this, the, the main reason why this happened. Okay, the creative decisions, injuries, obviously something you can do about that. Cesaro's injured. He has nothing to do with the rating. Randy Orton being injured. That has nothing to do with the rating. John Cena not being there definitely uh, takes uh, a big bite out of the ratings. I don't know how much. Who knows? Um, when he was there, the ratings were hovering in that 3.2 to 3.4 million range when he was when he was there. But now that he's gone, people know it 100% that he's gone for, for how long, who knows, TLC or whatever. January, we don't really know 100% when he's coming back. There's rumors, speculation. But 
let's just cut to the chase here. Sheamus. He was the reason why this rating was 2.9 million viewers. He's the reason. I mean, what what else, what else, besides the fact that there's injuries, besides that there's all these jobbers on the show, your champion is a lower mid-card champion. I mean, obviously, and, and people don't want to see that. And not only that, the internet fans, the smart mark fans, the hardcore fans, they don't want to see Roman Reigns as a top guy in the company. So they don't want to watch because of, because of that as well. I mean, Ambrose and Owens, who are two of the, you know, smart mark, you know, favorites, they were in a dead spot. Dead spot meaning the segment right before the main event segment. Whether would that match be maybe, maybe the main event segment maybe a match or whatever promo, but and they were just like in some random tag match. <laughs> so, and they gave more time to Stardust on this show. He had a promo. He had a long match. I mean, they're giving more. They're spending more time on Stardust than they are on Dean Ambrose and, o and Kevin Owens. There's something wrong because you got two guys right there who are ready to do to do anything for WWE. They can talk. They can wrestle. They can be entertaining. They can they can talk. They can they can actually cut promos using the terrible script dialogue that is written for them, which is very, very few people can do that. They can do it very well because they don't fit the look that WWE wants. They're too skinny, in, in Dean Ambrose's case, or they're too fat in Kevin Owens' case. Okay, so instead we get, uh, you know, a, a Stardust... A bunch of stuff with Stardust. We get this Heath Slater thing, whatever the heck that was. We get, you know, a bunch of, you know, these these guys who should be on main event and superstars are now on Raw because of the injuries and because, for some reason, they don't want to push Dean Ambrose or Kevin Owens. And now we get... And look, I have nothing against Roman Reigns when it comes to him being pushed. I don't mind it so much as other people do, but I am not a fan of his promos. I hate that his promos suck, and he shouldn't be pushed until his promos improve. Um, and the reason why they're doing this whole Sheamus, you know, Roman Reigns thing, because WWE so badly needs, I guess needs, wants, they want Roman Reigns to be cheered. They think that Sheamus is the guy for it to, to make it happen. Um, now, this, he gets cheered, but it's not the way that, let's say, a Dean Ambrose gets, Dean Ambrose gets cheered. Where nobody's booing him. There's still people who do boo Roman Reigns to a degree. They want all the internet fans. They want all the smart mark fans. They want the hardcore fans to cheer Roman Reigns. Until that happens, they're not going to do anything. Uh, when it comes to giving the, you know, they're not going to put the tile on Reigns. Fully put the tile on him. They're going to, they're going to have him. You know, he's going to hold the tile more than five minutes, like he did at Survivor Series. Uh, once he gets cheered by. 99% of the audience. Once that happens, you know, then he'll hold the title for a long period of time. Uh, right now, there's the, maybe about 70% of the crowd is cheering him. 60% maybe. 50%. Uh, it's it's around 60 to 70%, I would say, right now. And, and it's going to be a while, though, because they're destroying him. Week in and week out, him losing the title like that. He's not He's not Daniel Bryan. He can't come back from something like this the way Daniel Bryan can because Daniel Bryan is beloved by everyone, the casual fans and the smart fans. So this is an uphill battle they're not going to win. The only way this, is, this, this somehow could change is somehow Roman Reigns gets a personality transplant. He becomes somehow super charismatic overnight or something. Or becomes like, or just starts wrestling these five star matches week in week out. I mean, even then, I don't know if it would be enough. It take a lot to get him over with the smart fans. I don't know what it would be. I'm not really sure what it would be. What 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 it would take? Da Daniel Bryan come out there and give him the seal of approval. They've done stuff like that before with John Cena, where they had to have these you know these guys try to give John Cena the seal of approval uh, or pass the torch. 
Has it worked? And it's not going to work with Roman Reigns. Um, what can WWE to turn this whole thing around? Take the title off Sheamus and put it on somebody else. Put it on Owens. Put it on Ambrose. Put it on Reigns. Someone. Somebody else but Sheamus. This is not working, and it shows after one night, a one-night experiment, it's not going to work. And we're going to be having WWE's going to be having bad ratings uh, uh, for this for the foreseeable future until this until this turns around. 